five-step passing game. Now, we're going to go really fast, guys, because I want to uh, get through all this. Because five-step is really an extension of three-step. It's really plus two steps, a little change in technique, and obviously the route concepts can change. It has its place for, for tough downs, two-minute offense, uh, like three-step, a little few differences. We can uh, usually work one side, but also get into some four verts or four release concepts. Quarterback, quarterback work to call side unless we tag otherwise. Same protection scheme with more of a passive technique. We talk about bringing hands to feet. And quick set, mirror the man we have. Same protection. That's the beauty of it. A little different technique. Uh, again, quarterback, fullback. You see, same as as, uh, as three-step. We can get a spot tag with the fullback. We don't do it much, but we work in seven-on-seven seven in summertime, and we have it available. Um, but obviously, he doesn't always get out because we got to use him as a protector. The same basic release rules for the tiebacks. Call side, you have a complimentary re release uh, rule, depending on what the route is. Backside, uh, protect hot to help, or we could get into a hot check release, and we could also shuffle in. Uh, versus a, a, a hip stunt or a switch fire stunt, a B stunt from your hot defender. Route rules, same basic as three-step. We don't run mirrored routes in five-step games, so the backside receiver is going to have a default rule, signal-specific route or tag route. Tight end is usually backside if we use him in these scenarios, but we can incorporate the tight end in the passing game. We just have to be creative with terminology and verbiage to do it. Backside is as hot to help. Main concepts that we look at with five steps, the shoot, which is shot plus one, a little deeper out route, four verts, a go that can become a fade, again, three and five step connected, uh, or the half vertical conversion, hook smash, and a couple others. So went through that quick, guys, but like I said, it's, it's a very easy, uh, some guys will, will stay away from five step passing game, drop back game, and flex bone, they don't blink it think it belongs. Again, I think if you tie three and five step, you get almost two for one. This is shoot. Love this. Uh, you get a lot of man free. Your guys trying to bang around and run with the tie backs because that's our guys that get vertical a lot. Gives us a lot of easy one-on-ones on the outside. This is a five step bang. We're going 10 and roll. Not even a great route, but roll, speed out. We don't like to chop too much roll, throw it on him. Hard to stop right there. Hard to stop. Love it. You see the um, protection against the 50 defense. We're going to quick set. Guys, I've said we're not going to have great pass protection technique, but usually we don't get close to getting sacked. We still certainly don't give many up. Backside tie, if his hot doesn't come, he can either release and hold the safety or he can sink and, and really help that. The left guard should be helping and giving ground. If you're going to help the guy next to you, you got to get on a different level than him and not stay uh, on the same level. Quick out to the boundary here. 95 shoot. Boom, boom. Very easy. Inside ties should keep going vertical. When we get it away from trips and we don't feel like there's an underneath defender that can take it away because we have nothing to hold him, it's really not a compliment on this. I tell our quarterbacks, when we call shoot and we confirm it's like hitch, is that's pretty much who we're throwing the ball to. Pretty good route right here. Sell the deep, try to get on his toes, get his hips open, roll it, work back downhill. Again, hard to stop. One, two, three, one, two. Very good timing. I like it. I like it. And that's, that's, that's a part of the field that's, a lot of times uh, available. If you feel confident to hit that throw, look at the box. You got eight people in there in the free safety. There's nobody getting underneath that. Watch quarterback. And corners, you look open, lies inside, but inside leverage. That out route is waiting to be thrown. One, two, three, one, two. A little hitch at the top, but not much. Just to get his, his balance and his power. Ten yards if we don't do nothing else. Four verts. Four verts, love it out of ace against one high. Quarterback did a great job of getting us into this. This was kind of a package because they were stemming around between one and two safeties with the front and the secondary. Kept the one high on, keyed the free. Tie back avoided getting held up, expand to the hash. He said, there's some seams back there. And then uh, he outran them. Let you see this from the end zone. You see they're trying to disguise. We go freeze. 
and that's enough for the quarterback to feel like, okay, I know what they want to be in. Key the free as you drop, hit five, let it go. Again, the tie back to the left, I'd like to see him expanding more to the to the uh, two yards inside the hash, and then the boundary tie should be working inside more to it. We still get a stretch on a free, but not quite what we're looking for. Those uh, Your landmarks don't change, but your angles to get to your landmarks do. Here's four verts out of trips. Love this. Sometimes you get a seven-man front to go one high uh, if you can't get them into it already. And we, like I said, four love, four verts against a one-high defense. Can't see the whole picture, but you see usually if it's one high, we're, we're keying that tie back to that number two receiver on the hash. That's your stretch. If they play two safeties, then it would be a boundary read between the tie back and the boundary uh, receiver. Usually that outside receiver to trips is, is kind of a, a dead man. It would take a monster throw anyway. Let's see the depth. We're hitting this by, by about 20 yards. Ball's on a 45. 5, 10, 15, 18 to 22 is what they say. That's really right where you want it to be. So it's kind of a level two throw is what we call it, a two ball, where it's uh, where it's over backers under safeties. He's key in reading as you drive free stays to the field. Can't take it away. See the under, underneath coverage with your secondary vision or fill them. Throw it on him. Receiver does a good job right there, body shielding without getting a, a stupid penalty with a big hit. Here's four verts. Now, this is what I like as far as what we're trying to do with our landmarks. We overthrow this, but we're getting one high. And, again, ideal would be from the middle of the field, but it's from the, the hash, and so the angles get kind of whacked. But you can see the time is good. Quarterback's key in number three right here. He runs hard to the middle of the field. Throws to the boundary, tie back, working to the hash. We just got to throw it, you know, that's that's a window. For a short guy, we're going to miss high a lot. Now, here's a go ball. True go is an open field outside the 25-yard line where we got off corners, and we're trying to let him break his cushion, take five, one, two, three, four, five, gather, and we're trying to put that out thing out there with some air, 35, 40 yards, uh, between the numbers and the sideline. So ball is on the 45-yard line to start. Five steps, gather with some air, let the ball separate us, catch it almost at the 10, there's 35 yards. Go can become a fade against press. Go can become a half vertical concept against two. We work that, we have it ready, uh, but a lot of times we can control the narrative a little bit by, by knowing what we get from play to play. Here's a good look at a true go ball. Out, off corner, not tr not cover two. I mean, they're playing man. The, tie, the safety's running with the tie back. So our receiver down here is going to push, break cushion if he can, try to stack him, hold your line at the bottom of the numbers, and the quarterback's going to hit five, gather, and we're catching this thing. Ball's right on the 20. 40-yard throw. So he put it out there pretty good to the field. One, two, three, one, two, gather, gather. Don't like that second gather, but he was trying to get his rhythm. I see it didn't affect him. And, again, one-on-one, -on -one, we'll take it. We looked at this on the three-step, but just to remind you how the three-step and the five-step is connected, if we got three-step game called, if we got a three-step uh, or 80, a, go, a true go called, and they're press man, no help, it's not cover two, it becomes a three-step game. So five and three are connected by the go concept. Here it is again. We're called go because we're outside the red zone. 25-yard line is our red zone throw call. Press man, he knows it's one, two, three, us or nobody, by 20 yards. No help, there's nobody, no safety can take that throw away. Ball's at midfield, catching it right about the 30. And it, it can carry to the 25 because obviously there's no help there. Freeze. Freeze helps us just to confirm the look, whether it's sideline or the quarterback doing it. Make sure they're impressed like they say they are. One, two, three. Put it outside. Stack him. And do, we do work a lot of one-on-one -on -one because that's what we see. And, and there it is again. Uh, same routes, but just to show you how the three and the five-step passing game is connected. Um, 
by that one route concept. Now here, last time we looked at uh, a, a true fade against cover two. This is go against cover two, and we end up hitting the tie back. Now, it's not ideal. We should stretch more to the hash, uh, probably hitting a little quicker than most time, but they're, they've are they got some depth, and he hits him in the window that he sees. I don't want to give you the illusion that we see a lot of cover two, and we have a lot of vertical four verts work, and our tie back down here should be releasing. He didn't get the tag to release. Uh, but just to give you an idea of how even a flex ball team that works one side of the ball can have some of these things in. So let's get to some of our little intermediate concepts. This is 85 hook, five-step drop, hook flat into the boundary with a spot call by the fullback. Fullback's duel doesn't come. He's trying to spot up over the ball a little late. We go 12 back to 10. Tie back should keep stretching to the boundary. We'll skip that, get a better look at it here. 85 hook. Kind of a two-minute situation, so the safeties are deep. Let's give you an idea what it looks like. One, two, three, one, two. Read as you drop, gather, hook, flat. Sometimes we got a spot built into it as well. Very easy, uh, easy concept there. Curl flat all day long. You don't have to be fancy because you're not going to get a lot of fancy looks from the defense, as you know. You see protection-wise, we're very clean. Nobody's near us. One, two, three, four, five into the boundary. We got a cover two corner. Avoid him. Stretch that hole. Not a great route. Stick it. Work back down the stem. Uh, curl flat. Basic concept. We'll flip that. Smash. Smash is one of the easiest things in the world. It's always a corner read no matter what. A few coaching points. Press man. You know right now we're going inside. One, two, three, four, five, corner stays low. We're going high. Throw it away from the safety. Very easy ball there. Here's a few throwbacks or backside tag off a drop back. One, two, three, four, five. We got smash with an uh, X on a comeback to the left. Sometimes we'll let the quarterback read his way. If you like smash, you'll stay with it. If not, he come off to the backside tag. And then we have a little stop route. This is a one-on-one -on -one where we know we're getting man. We're trying to get the sticks. We're trying to get a first down. We got our best receiver running a 12 to 10 or even a little deeper, a little shallower, depending on the sticks. But basically, a stop route, getting the first down ball. One, two, three, four, five. Those that own him, nothing fancy there. Just protect in rhythm. One, two, three, four, five. Ball's out. Very nice. Huge first down in the game to help us win it. Here's want to throw this on there. You can get a little creative with your five-step game when you know what coverage they're getting. A lot of times you know what they're getting. We call this a little sneak route. They're in man-free, but we, we run a clear on the front side and sneak this tie back into the weak side flat. So his man that's covered him is way on the other side of the football and no way that he can get there. So number 22 has him man. Uh, but obviously he, he's not going to be able to get to him when we run him over there, and he's unaccounted for. Little bang post, had a good receiver. Quarterback could throw it this year. We brought it up to uh, a little deeper, little, little deeper slant concept. We didn't do this much, but we worked it more than we actually ran in the game. But. Just basically a deep slam. We called it bang. One, two, three, four, five. Felt like there was a different window there and had success with it. And the last thing we'll look at is just a man-to-man -man post. If we ever want to do a seven-step drop concept, it's easy to incorporate in this. We got this team in straight man. Put our fastest guy at the number two receiver down here and basically isolated him on the post with a seven-step drop just to give him time to win on the route. Double move if you want to. In, out, in. Hold it vertical and beautiful throw, beautiful tech protection. Everything is beautiful. We just didn't catch it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we even just called it 87 or 97 slot post just to remind the quarterback and told the lineman it's going a little deeper.